see me, weather all. Captain Anderson. <laughs> Captain Anderson, I have a wee question for you. Now, it's not too difficult. I know you don't like hard questions. Far away, my friend. Well, the first question is, what, what do we do should something happen to go wrong on this here good ship hotel tonight? If we were to take on some water, where should uh, we go to? What would happen? Well, if we had the abandoned ship, say there was a fire alarm or something, we'd have to exit the vessel. Oh. There's there's fire doors down there in the bottom corner, yeah, in the emergency of orderly fashion. Right. Or the doors you all came in on. We're there. Absolutely. <laughs> I'm so glad about that. Thank you. That's my mind at rest, Captain. I have a question for you, Mr. Rutherall. Please don't make it hard. Please, I have a difficult day. What happens? Uh, about mobile phones and our good ship for tell. Oh. Mobile phone. I ask. I ask everybody to make sure the switch come off. Or what's with the motherboard? Ah, uh, <laughs> our phones off. Uh, last question. One more. Only one more. It's very important. If there is a, a youngster in here and they're getting a bit grizzly, I mean, it, it is important. We don't want to take away from the show. Right. Well, what should the parent do? Well, that's definitely throw them a word of word. Oh, no, 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 now, I want you to think back to when you were a wee nipper. Ah. Could you tell me, could you tell me something, Captain Alderson? Who was your favourite pirate my, of all time? Oh, uh, my pirate hero! Ah. That's easy, Captain Weatherall. Do any of you remember Captain Pugwash? Ah, ah. ah Captain Pugwash!
Lovely to have you. Thank you very much for coming. Thank, Thank you for all your support. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> 
competition. So what are you gonna do? Well, go on, Scout Cat, and catch that rat. Yeah. Come on, Mum. We were only playing. It's fun being pirates. I see adventures are so exciting. The sea, exciting. It's dark, deadly, and dangerous. That's what it is. Have you two forgotten what happened to your dear, dear father? My poor, poor Stanley, lost at sea all those years ago, never to return, leaving me to look after you two, all alone.
we'll see. <laughs> That's right, Captain. We miss the smell of the sea. The feel of the wind in our hair. The feel of spray in our faces. And crafts on our trousers. <laughs>
me, like, is it adventure or is it danger? But for Jack and Liza, the race is on to find a missing mom and a missing mother. <laughs> Come on, Liza! We have to go rescue mom from those pirates! But Jack, how do we know the pirates are behind all of this? Let's see. We discover a treasure map. <coughs> Then a band of dodgy pirates turn up. Then this morning, we wake up to find a safe blown up, the map gone, and Mum too. Yes, I suppose you're right. We have to find that ship. It must be here in the dock somewhere. What did you call it? The Curry Bean. Shouldn't be hard to sniff out. Come on, fellow sticks, let's go hunt some pirates. <laughs> I can't see how many fine hands, Captain. 
on. Talking of hamster, I'm afraid we're too short. Oh dear. Is there a height limit to sail? <laughs> I mean, we haven't got enough hands. My railway management too. <laughs> no, we need two more members of the crew. Uh, never mind, sir. You just go aboard the ship. The crew will show you where we are docked. I think I can find a way to be out, ship, Captain. This way, ship. Yes. <laughs> 
say? Go to see what? <laughs> no, go to the sea. I can offer you both a job in the king's navy. No thanks. I, I get seasick just watching goldfish. <laughs> Haven't you ever wanted to go to the high seas? I once reached the high seas when I was a young lad. But then his voice broke. <laughs> That's a shame, lads. Never mind. Why don't you both have a drink on me? I'll try to kind of be, sir. But I'm not. And I think you'll notice a nice shiny shilling at the bottom of your tankards, which means you've taken the king's shilling. I mean, press down into my crew. <laughs> look, look, he's right, you devious culprit. <laughs> oh, oh dear, I, I swore mine. <laughs> How do you feel? Like a slot machine. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I should fill your arm and hope for a jackpot. <laughs> Whether you like it or not, you're not a member of my crew. So get over to the country floor. We're going to set sail. Excuse me, Captain! We're looking for a ship! It's urgent! It's called the Curry Bay! Have you seen it? Our mom's been kidnapped by pirates and they've taken her on that ship! Now hold your sea horses! There aren't any pirates around these ports! If there was, I would know about it. I'm captain of the crunchy frogs. <coughs> then you can take us on our ship to find her. Those pirates can't have gone far. Now look, there aren't any pirates around these parts. Big rats, yes, those pesky blighters. Licking my cheese, nibbling my crackers. Ah, talk to the devil. <laughs> It's a date. 
filthy pirate and take me back to London. No possible. I'm afraid we're heading due west to search for the treasure. More on this here map. Very kind of you to let us borrow it. Treasure? That's all you pirates think about. Why can't you give up this pardon, Lord, and become respectable like what I am? Never! I'm a dick to the party. Ever since his death, that crocodile bit off my hands. He's been hooked ever since. <laughs> I see. And tell me, how did you lose your eye? Ah, uh, that'd be a tragic tale indeed. You see, a seagull pooped in it. You can't lose an eye because a seagull pooped. You can if you wipe it with the wrong hand. <laughs> <laughs> yes, very tragic. Like, get me off this ship. Thing is, my crew are good at many things. Pillaging, fighting, they are very lonely, but they can't cook, sew, or clean. In short, we're going to use a wench, such as yourself, to keep the ship. Ship ship during our voyage, and then I'll take you straight back to London once we find our treasure. So, it has been to my boy to throw you overboard. Let me think about it. Scrub, scrub, my brotherly friend. Isn't he a handsome woman? Um. Is your eye patch on the wrong eye? <laughs> <laughs> I have a notion to make her my pirate wife. After you get this here, Shepherd. So, my dear, what's your answer? Very well, but one trip only, and then straight back to London. Pirates promise. Good. My Jack and Liza will be wondering where I am. And look at me, I'm not even dressed for sea voyage. No posh frock, no makeup. I should have sat in the sun for long and flowing. You mean, like the river dragon? <laughs> Nonsense! You're a fine trigger woman. Why, a good eye shadow would bring your eyes. A good blusher would bring out your cheeks. And a good sneeze will bring out your teeth. And tell me, go powder, or see my age. Go powder! <laughs> Obviously, red flag pirate in pirate coat. The 
directions to the island that only a pirate will understand. It even gives a name of the island. But it's what? That's right, Lumbago, here he comes. Lumbago? So it's not just a legend, it really exists. And I'm on my way there. <coughs> oh, only Jack and I are here. We can explore together. I hope they're all right back in London. I do miss them. Look, Jack, a shooting star. Let's make a wish. Well, there's only one thing I wish, Liza. I wish. Don't say it, Jack. I know. I miss our tree and I hope she's okay wherever she is.
to London in no time. But I'm afraid we're not due back until 17.30. You mean we have to wait till tea time? No, the year 17.30, in two years. But in the meantime, you can sort out our health and safety issues. Well, we did find one problem. He seemed to be infested with <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
tight it. Out, in, <coughs> over the shoulder. Out, in, over the Not so fast. They might have a foundation growing on board. 
Solomon's Law. See you at 1728. Right about tea time, the crudgy fog has been taken over. The, sh the ship's been taken over. The crew have mutiny, and we're all not like prisoners. Things can't get any worse. Hello, fish face. We've come to cheer you up. Things just got worse. <laughs> Hey, Zach, can that shell go on you? Nope. Still no change. <laughs> you said that the last time you flew. You look you're not fine. What are you two doing here? I thought you'd become pirate. Oh, no. We've changed our minds. How do we say? Yes. They wanted us to pay for our own pirate earrings. Why much? A book. An ear. <laughs> <laughs> What? We heard them planning to, to torture you. How? They're going to make you walk across 50 balls of wine. Really? Yeah. Did they call it walking the clock? <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry. We come to rescue you. <coughs> Excellent. They chain us up, but if you follow it and give it a pill, you get it. Oh, it is here. Don't worry, I never mock things up. <laughs> uh, have you found the answer? Uh, I found the end, Skull. Well, give it a big spin, I guess. <laughs> Pirate! 
Oh! 
longer arrived as a stranger many months ago. He longer arrived as a stranger many months ago. Brought chest of treasure to hide beneath our sand. Fall like coconut hit head hard. Lost all memories, not know who he was. We in need of brown bread later. We can cheat longer, we are sad well for many years. And now we return our rightful crime.
The finest crew you've ever seen.